Hello and welcome to another LabVIEW tutorial. If you ever made a start button for your project, you probably did something like this. Chose an OK button. Renamed it to start. and then created an event for the button. And then whatever your VI is supposed to do. You made it wait for the event like so. So the VI is set to run and then when you click the start button it proceeds with whatever operation you wanted it to do. But let's say you actually wanted to make the VI run when you click the button and not before. Then you need to create an X control for your button. So I'm going to cut out the button and remove the event structure. And instead go to File, New. And there I will double click on X control. And I get a window for my newly created X control. So I'll double click on the facade VI to get the front panel of the X control. Erase the text, paste my button, and shrink the front panel so that it just covers the start button. Right click on the button and choose scale object with pane. This way when you rescale or resize your X control it will automatically resize the button as well. Now go to the block diagram of the facade VI. What I want to do first is to go to the display state change event. I don't want any label for my X control. So I'm going to right click on the connector for the container state cluster and choose unbundle by name. Left click on the function and choose refnum. This is the reference number for the X control. Once I done that, I right click on the connector, choose create, property, label and visible. Right click on label.visible, choose change to write. Right click on the connector, choose create constant. This will automatically create a false boolean input, which is what I want. Now, when that's done, I right click on the event structure and choose add event case. And there I add a new event for my start button. Again, I want to unbundle the container state to get the refnum. 
but now I want the reference number for the VI in which this X control will reside. So I'll right click on the refnum connector, choose create, property and owning VI. Then again, right click on the owning VI connector, choose create method run VI. Wait until done and auto dispose ref will both be false by default. So I don't need to make any changes. And in fact, the X control is finished. So I just need to save everything. Save the facade, the state control, data control, initialization VI, and rename my X control to start button. Now I can go to my VI front panel and drag and drop the start button. Unselect it and then when I click it, the VI runs just as I wanted. And that's all. Thank you for watching.